Yeah. So let us talk about free, keeping your freelance uh, business uh, pandemic proof. Kasi nga, itong pandemyang ito, hindi porket matatapos ang 2020, eh, matatapos din ang pandemya. Next year, naka-mask pa rin tayo, naka-face shield pa rin tayo. Maya-maya, bigla na namang maging ECQ ang, ang uh, barangay natin, munisipyo natin, syudad natin. Hindi natin alam. We will never know. Eh, ang mahirap nga, natatakot ang mga newbies na papasok sa ano sa freelancing because of the uncertainty, the unpredictability, yung hindi natin maia-assure na dire-diretso ang career natin as freelancers. How much more nitong panahon na ito na meron tayong pandemya? We have to consider that next year, nandyan pa rin ang COVID. Nandyan pa rin ang kailangan pa rin hindi tayo lalabas, kailang, marami pa rin mga businesses na hindi magbubukas, Mga ganyan. So we have to keep in mind our career as freelancers, how we deal, how we go through this uh, pandemic na ma- para makapag-survive naman tayo. Or um, yung at least madlang hindi tayo masyadong kabahan sa uncertainty ng darating na next year. So Kenneth, in your experience, what is the major concern pagdating sa ano pagdating sa freelancing career well uh, sa personal experience no yung nagsisimula pa lang ako when it comes to freelancing meron siyang feast or famine na culture merong hmm. mga buwan na or years na sunod-sunod ng clients pero meron ding mga panahon na uh, medyo no, mahina yung clients so, isa yan sa mga major na concern na, na, na notice ko noon. I love your term, feast or famine. Feast or famine. Yan, ladies and gentlemen, hindi namin masyadong in-express yan. Eh. There is a feast or and famine sa, ano, sa buhay natin as freelancers. Kasi ang karamihan ng sinashowcase namin is once na nagkaroon na ng client, dire-diretso na yan, skyrocket na yan. Pati ako mismo, I also say that once na magkaroon ka ng, ng five-star rating sa, sa una, mong, ano, una mong contract sa Upwork, straight na yan. So your, your, your career will go on and on and on and on. Ang hindi nga nababanggit is meron talagang ups and downs ng buhay right. financer. Uh, especially kapag per contract ka hindi pag per hour ka medyo medyo okay pa pero kapag per contract ang, ang kinukuha mo na contracts mo uh, per project ang kinukuha mo na contracts mo i mean to say talagang merong ups and downs yan so Kenneth since you mentioned feast or famine uh, how do you prepare yourself for the upcoming famine naman well sa panahon na marami kang contracts or clients na ongoing dapat mag-ipon ka talaga para if may sudden na changes like biglang umalis yung clients mo or your yung main mo na client at least mayroon ka pang uh, emergency na cash and hindi ka matataranta hindi ka parang pressured na maghahanap ng clients hindi ka ma-pressured na tatanggap ng low bold na rates ganun mm, and I, I like that I like that um, my uh, my bullet points ba? Parang number one, you have to do this. Number two, you have to do this. Number three, you have to do this. Then, meron ba tayong... Uh, meron ka bang ano, masasabi na parang uh, top three na dapat, na dapat talagang gawin mo in order to prepare for the coming famine? Um, so, personal lang na experiences. Uh, first is dapat may emergency cash. Uh, mm-hmm. Di dapat uh, gasto ng gasto sa so, uh, ikalawa is dapat constant ka naghahanap ng clients cause it is a business and hindi ka dapat mag rely lang ng isang stream of income so dapat meron kang multiple clients na darating at least every month merong bago mm-hmm. so if mag end ang isang contract meron ka papasok ulit uh, so parang ganyan lang and siguro pangatlo is Share your wins. If meron kang mga bagong clients at hindi mo na kaya sa workload, then mag-hire ka ng mga tao para ma-expand mo yung business mo. Yun lang. 
I love that. I love, I, I love that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You have to keep in mind. Ilagay nyo sa notes nyo yan. I think uh, it is best that you put it on a post-it and then put it on your wall, yung top three na sinabi ni Kenneth. Because this is something that would inspire you to push through. Tapos yung magkakaroon ka ng objective. In many cases, mga newbies, for example, ni wala pa nga akong client ni how much more yung sinasabi ni Sir Kenneth na yan. Sasabihin, sasabihin nilang ganun. Fear not, newbies. Kayo mga wala pang client, kayo mga nagsisimula pa lang. Just use that as a reminder para, yes, uh, Robin says multiple clientele. Mag, that is a very good objective. Kaya ilagay nyo yan uh, to remind you na meron pa kayong uh, chance na mag-upgrade. Huwag kayong masatisfy sa iisang client lang. Uh, it, it is good kapag magkakaroon kayo ng client. Yes, so nakuha nyo ang objective nyo. But, after you achieve that goal, comes the next goal. Okay? Kaya huwag kayo ma-frustrate kung sakasakali na ano na yung wala pa kayong client tapos ito ang sinasabi namin sa inyo. No, no, no. We are not trying to put you down. We are not pressuring you. We are just giving you a certain objective para naman uh, ma-level up ninyo ang career ninyo agad-agad. Hindi yung, okay, my client na ako, three months na ang dumaan, ano na ang next na gagawin ko. Hindi yung ganon. At least instantly, meron ka ng objective. Thank you. So, thank you very much, uh, Sir Kenneth. Miss Dina, since our topic is about uh, making your 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 freelancing career business pandemic proof, how do you convert your thinking para maging business ang ano ang freelancing career mo? Cool. Um, number one, talaga. Um, you have to get out of that employee mindset. That's number one. Mindset is number one. It's number one. Um, and probably, because I've been in this situation, no, na parang, um, back when I uh, got to know Jason Dulay, nung nag-uumpisa pa lang yung work from home roadmap. So that was like, that was the first time actually that I uh, encountered this work from home um freelancing uh online jobs ph and upwork and you know ang so ang saucy naman ni phoenix <laughs> naka chopstick yung clover chips <laughs> ganyan talaga siya <laughs> sorry oh. na imagine na ano na this na sorry for that <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dapat sorry guys. Dapat pala i-orient ko din yung mga, ano, yung mga guys natin na nag-chopstick si Phoenix sa chips, huwag magugulat. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, yeah. As I was saying, uh, mindset talaga is number one. No? Um, I've been in that, you know, a boat before when I, when I uh, thought na working from home, it's just another it, it it's 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 technically like a work from home working mm-hmm. 9 to 5 ang kaibahan lang is nandito ako sa bahay nagtatrabaho mm-hmm. parang ganun without all those formal you know and, and no traffic yeah. and um fortunately enough you know i i um encountered uh Jan Pagulayan and he was the one who introduced this new mindset like the new brand of freelancing right that this could really be a business. So I was like, okay, how, how, how do we do that, right? How do we do that? Um, and so um, he introduced this uh, CCPP process and all that. And I'm, I guess I'm sharing my, 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 my journey, by the way. <clears throat> so back to uh, Phoenix question, like how do we convert, um, you know, uh, parang work at home into this business? Talagang number one would would get into um, that journey would be your mindset. So what I did, what what, what did I do? No. So when I um I thought, okay, so pa di pala tong no? Mm-hmm. And this is from someone who grew up in one of the poorest provinces in the Philippines, in northern Samar. Like, ang taong makaka magkakaroon lang negosyo is yung mga politiko, yung mga mm-hmm. police, yung mga mayayaman, yung mm-hmm. mga so from <laughs> someone who's um a daughter of uh, a government employee, it was like I don't think so. 
Like, I don't think so. That's, that's next thing possible, no? So, yun yung, kumbaga, kinalakihan ko. So, when I, when I, when I got to know that, you know, parang, oh, I did this possibility um, back in 2016, parang ganun. I said, okay, cool. And what, what was the first, what were the steps that you did, Coach Dina, when you converted that, that mindset? So, first thing that I, nag-Google ako, how do um, we start a business here in the Philippines? And then I took down notes. Number one, you need to be uh, IR compliant, right? And then register it in DTI. And so when I first landed my first client, I did exactly those things. I went to DTI, I registered the business, right? Um, and then from employee, kasi empleyado ako dati, um, my, my, my taxes was in, in Makati, nilipat ko yon sa San Pedro because we were living in San Pedro before. So yun yung mga una. Number one is a mindset that really believing that, okay, this isn't just another employment. This could really be a business. You can, you can charge whatever rate you want it to charge. You have the freedom to like choose, okay, I don't want to uh, be time doctored. I want to to work um, as, as as free as possible. Like okay, whenever, whatever, however I want. So Preach. that to me, mm -hmm. that to me is um, you know the, the the freelance business na you know possible to not, not just me, not just for yung mga uh, kumbaga matagal na si freelancing, but really anyone, anyone, it's it's possible. I love that. I, I love that you, you enumerated them all. Ito, yun nga, ladies and gentlemen, ang gusto namin i, i, ibigay sa inyo. We want you to change your mindset. In many cases nga, sabi nga ni Miss Tina, pagpapasok ka, mentality mo is employment. Employment, the, the, the employment thing. Dahil yun nga, yun naman ang nakagis na natin. Eh. We cannot, uh, we cannot mm -hmm. blame, we cannot blame ourselves for believing that kailangan mo magtrabaho. Dahil yun, dun, yun nga ang nakagisnan natin. Eh. Ba, Pagkabata-bata pa lang natin, ang sabi ng parents natin is, mag-aral ka ng magbuti para makapagtrabaho ka. Eh, yun, eh, yun, ang, yun ang parang bilin sa atin, which is nice and all. But in the, in the case of freelancing kasi, it's all about tenacity. It's all about uh, thinking forward. Kaya nga, Pagpasok pa lang sa, ano, sa, sa freelancing. And here, pati kayong mga tenured uh, freelancers, uh, if you invite a newbie, let's not talk so much about the money part. Kasi yung money nga na eh. Let's talk more about the other advantages of being a freelancer para agad-agad na sumiksik sa utak nila na you can charge however you want, as Miss Dina said. Right, and you can have as many as you want. Nasabi ni ni Kenneth. Hindi yung hindi yung ah mag, pag pag meron ka ng client set for life ka na magkakasahod ka na monthly monthly. Y yung mga ganon na ano na na pag promote ng freelancing. I think it is nice. It is good because you are welcoming other other people. But in my opinion, to dapat pagka-endorse na pagka-endorse pa lang natin ng freelancing, iisipin natin agad na they should think that this is a business. Hindi yung employment agad-agad. The main thing that uh, I think the uh, na, nasabi na ni, ni Kenneth ang mga, ang mga procedure and nasabi ni Dina ang mga advantages. I think I'll, uh, I'll add to that that one other thing to think about dito sa, ano, sa freelancing kung bakit sa business is because you really have to invest. You have to either put money or you have to spend time or you can do both. But And ang kagandahan nun is ang kapalit niya ay times four, times six, times ten. So that is why we should consider this a business. Kasi meron ka talagang uh, i-invest. And uh, believe me, I know I'm one of those people who hate the word investment, hate using the word investment. Dahil yun nga, pag investment, ibig sabihin talagang you're going to get some money out of your pocket to spend on something. But yun nga, ang, yun naman ang process talaga natin eh. It's either you add money or, or you, it's either you invest money or you invest time and effort. Either way, ang kapalit nun, meron at meron. 
at least nga, uh, we we do not promise that you're just gonna sit your ass and be lazy and click 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 and all of a sudden tiba tiba ka na sa pera because that is not the way it way it works here in freelancing definitely not so when it comes to yung sabi ni ni Kenneth na as much as possible every month meron ka sanang ano meron ka sanang bagong client or active ka pa rin na naga apply i strongly i strongly recommend that ladies and gentlemen kasi when it comes to business pag may tindahan ka imagine mo na may tindahan ka uh, satisfied ka na ba sa iisang suki Right? Satisfied ka na? Right. Hindi. You have to get more and more and more para mag-flourish yung business mo. And that is more how you suki, should treat... More suki, more kita. Uh, yeah, exactly. More suki, more kita. That is how you treat your freelancing career. The problem there is when you try to convert yung ano yung mindset mo. Kaya it's a good thing na nandito si Miss Dina to mention how she was able to convert this freelancing career into a business mindset. Pero Kenneth, ang mahirap sa ano sa business, nakakatakot yung mag-invest. Kasi there's always a risk, right? Even in business there's always a risk. So how do you make yourself um, at least a bit more secured or fail proof pagdating sa uh, when to combat your fear of investing right. for freelancing well i think kahit anong gagawin mo the risk will be there pero what you can do is do your due diligence mag research ka muna and prepare yourself with the things that you need to grow your business then if na prepare mo na lahat deep meron pa rin yung fear eh. so you just have to jump into that choice and dapat panindigan mo na lang kasi kahit gaano preparation ang gagawin mo the fear is still gonna be there unless if you take that step forward I love that. Lakasan ng loob. Lakasan lang talaga. I think in everything in everything we do in life, lakasan lang talaga ng loob lahat eh. Whether it is business, whether it is freelancing, whether it is even education. Dahil pag yung meron sa atin high school, pag graduate ng high school, hindi pa tayo talaga decided kung anong course ang kukunin natin. Right, basta, right. Ay, bahala na. Basta yan na. Papasukin mm. ko na yan. Right? In, I think in everything in life, we, we always take the leap of faith. Mm. Meron ka bang, uh, uh, meron, uh, it, but in, syempre marami sa atin itong naninigurado, lalo, lalo na itong mga, ano, itong mga uh, uh, naka-experience na ng mga traumatic experiences in the past. It is so difficult to convince them to join our family. So, paano mo ba masabi na in order for you to secure yourself, you should do this? What are the things that you should do, Kenneth? Well, if from employee to freelance, um, mm-hmm. then emergency fund. <laughs> Yan muna. Mm-hmm. Kasi, kaya, yun yung main concern eh, is ano ang pera ang gagamitin ko if wala akong trabaho, if I can't find a client the very next day. Diba? Yung first yes. na isipin mo is, anong gagamitin ko pang gastos, ganyan, at ma-pressure ka, and then you're gonna be in a place of scarcity, yung feeling mo cornered ka na. At syempre, we can't think straight when we're cornered, kaya ganun. So dapat uh, prepare uh, the skills, so google mo lahat yung gusto mong skill set at aralin mo, take down notes, connect with people or freelancers that has those skills, then magtanong ka. Then, money. Prepare ka ng at least six months, like yung sabi ni Sir Jason para emergency fund. Para yung uh, monthly expenses mo times six, para mm-hmm. you have six months buffer na maghanap ng client. Ganun. I love and that. Be, I love- be with uh, people that uh, you think would be beneficial to you. Like, you can bounce off ideas or learn from them. Ganun lang. Don't be with negative people that will just pull you down. Oh, wow. 
Yes, yes. Uh, ayan, ladies and gentlemen, do not think negatively. Kasi talagang it will just drag you down. Ang problema kasi sa negative thinking is uh, it's like a whirlpool. Pag sinimulan mong inisip yan, diretso, nadadagdagan ng nadadagdagan ng nadadagdagan. Right. So the minute that you th- that uh, a negative thought comes inside your mind, you have to snip it off. You really have to snip it off. It, uh, this is where your determ- determination is tested. Kailangan talagang decided ka, fully decided ka na, na i-commit mo ang sarili mo sa freelancing. Because if you... Uh, the thing na ano, ang, ang nakuha ko sa sinabi ni Kenneth is, lahat kayo mga newbies, never ever expect that it is easy the very first time. Maraming mga nagpa-promise na, oh, it's so easy dahil na, nasa bahay kayo. Nga sabi nga ni, ni Miss Dina, it's like just working, working, but you're at home, walang traffic, yun, hindi ka, kahit hindi ka na maligo, okay lang. But it's not really that easy. Dahil, syempre, nandyan ang mga perks. But you have to remind yourself that you still have to work. You still have to... This is a business. You need to make an effort at the very start of your career. Pati naman mga businesses, di ba, nag effort talaga sila dahil wala pa naman silang masyadong pera. So, small investment, so much hard work, magigising sila ng alas 4 ng umaga para lang maka, makasimula agad-agad. You know, ganun talaga, mag effort ka talaga sa lahat, pati sa freelancing. So, never ever expect that uh, nakaupo ka lang, babanjing-banjing ka lang, click-click-click lang, and things will be easier for you in life. Because in the, in the world of freelancing, you really have to uh, make an effort. You really have to invest. Thank you very much ako, for that, Ken. Yes. Ako, yes, Pins, may naalala lang ako dun sa emergency funds. Kasi merong hmm. mga tao na ano na, uh, wala silang chance to to make emergency funds mm. para bago sila mm. mag-ano sa freelancing like Miss Anna. Naalala ko siya. Di ba kasi siya parang ano, parang lubog na talaga sa utang, yeah. kasarado na yung ano, yung water station nila, tapos mag-aalaga pa siya ng mga bata, tapos ano, she she has nowhere to turn to parang kumbaga. So, yun, para ang ginawa nila talaga, yun, sinabi din ni Kenneth kanina, lakasan talaga ng loob. So, meron ding mga ano, newbies na nag-start na Na yun, yung pinapangutang pa yung investment. <laughs> Kasi ganun talaga pag business, di ba? Tsaka kung alam mo na yun yung talaga yung gusto mong gawin, kailangan gagawan mo siya ng paraan. Ayun. Yes, that is true. Ayan yung ano, yung... Uh, do not mistake yung sinabi namin na ano, na take your negative thinking off. Do not mistake that for pressure. Kasi yun nga, yung na, naisip ko rin si, si Miss Anna and many other people, many we have plenty of graduates here na inutang nila yung pinang-enroll nila. Uh, as it, inutang talaga nila. Kaya, mm. you, and, and that alone makes them think na, yun nga yung nabanggit ni, ano, ni Kenneth na, paano na bukas? Paano, ano nang gagawin ko dito sa inutang ko? Ano nang, uh, ano nang makakain namin? So that pressure could help you out. Dahil ipu- ip- yeah. ipupursigin mo talaga, kailangan, right. kailangan, kailangan may client ka. Bukod dahil ng client. <laughs> oh, bukod sa wala ka nang ipapakain sa pamilya mo, may utang ka pa. So that is quite a good pressure. That is uh, not a negative thought. A negative thought would be like, wala na hindi na hindi ata para uh, hindi ata ito para sa akin wala na ata akong pag-asa parang uh, hindi ko ata kaya kasi hindi pa ako nakapagtapos ng high school those are the negative thoughts that we want you to disregard kasi uh, freelancing is empowering to everybody provided meron kang bank account you are empowered uh, automatic ka na na, ano, na na qualified ka to enter freelancing. So try to uh, do not mistake yung pressure and the challenges that you have to face through in freelancing to a negative thought. Nothing is easy when it's your first time. Oh, naman, kung totoo yan, happy. Thank you very much for that comment. Miss Dina, y- yung. Well, I want you to focus more on the on business in pande- uh, during this pandemic times. So, because for sure, maraming mga ano, maraming mga freelancers jan ang nawalan din ng ano ng contracts because of this pandemic. We never foresaw this to happen in our career. But now that we have experience in itong mga itong pandemic and lockdown and COVID, parang medyo naging complacent na tayo and medyo kalmado na tayo. So what is the next step para gawin nating um, 
what what are the precautionary methods that you that we ought to do in order to preserve our career as freelancers you, you know what phoenix um of course in the light of pandemic no we're, we're talking about this but you know what with or without pandemic i guess dapat talagang handa tayo right um and how do i do that well every day parang sari sari store you refer that earlier favorite reference ko din yung yung tindahan <laughs> when i when i explain you know things about freelancing mm -hmm. parang tindahan na dapat araw-araw yung pagbi-build nung business since business nga ito right um dapat araw-araw tayong nakabukas yung tindahan so yeah. in 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 my business every day I do prospecting. I do connecting. Mm. So nice. and that 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 prospecting, that connecting um to to potential leads, potential, you know, clients. Yun talaga yung I cannot I'm not going to finish a day without it. And yun yung direct answer ko doon, how do I prepare or how do I even make this pan, my, my business pandemic proof? With or without pandemic, every day you need to be operating as a business owner, right? That prospecting yeah. gives me a pool of clients, a pool of uh, potential leads. So whenever my my pandemic man uwala, you know, I can I can I I am confident that I can get a client that will you know sustain my my business. I love that. I love that. Prospecting and connecting. Ladies and gentlemen, itong sinabi ni, ni Miss Dina, it's one of the easiest things that you can actually do because we are habitually social media creatures. We always post something on our Facebook. We always post something on our Instagram. Ang problema lang kasi sa atin pagdating sa freelancing, parang nahihirapan tayo mag-post about freelancing. Nahihirapan tayo mag-post about, about our activities. Uh, so, Miss Dina, for the normal people who find mm. it a little bit difficult to talk more about their freelancing career, about their business, for example, what kind of stuff that uh, should they talk more about in social media in order to be able to connect with many people? All right. Um, of course, the only way that I can answer that is how do I do that in my own business now? So the how of uh, putting yourself out there and, and showing up. Number one, really, you have to acknowledge that if you don't do it, then you're vulnerable. Oh, <laughs> then yeah. You could be, oh, yeah. You could be... May echa para ka talaga. For example, for example um, let's say you're a virtual assistant, right? Isipin mo ilang million yung virtual assistant ngayon sa mundo. Right? Um, a good percentage of virtual assistants are getting their clients through Upwork, online jobs, PH, and la 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 la. So imagine if all of you are like doing that. Ang tanong ngayon is how do you make yourself, you know, stand out from these millions virtual assistant yun yung yun yung ano mo dapat doon is tanong mo doon yun yung concern mo every day so my take on it and the way that i do it in my own business is that i use my facebook to do almost 80 percent of my, my my business operation by the way i do um web design and 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 uh, lead generation for flooring contractors right so the way that I do it every day, um, makikita mo like if 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 you guys go to my profile, um, since 2017, I have been consistently, consistently, you know, putting myself out there. Coach, how do you do that? Number one, I share about you know what I do. I talk about Facebook ads. I talk about web design. I talk about the importance of lead generation. I talk about my family. I share about stuff about my son. I I, I talk about the books that I read. I, I do more of documentation, Phoenix. Right? Mm -hmm. So if, if there is that um parang struggle, how do I create this content? Because I'm 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 no I'm not so good with this content creation, mm -hmm. right? Now, you can tweak that mindset into, look, you just need to document what you're doing. 
documentation. Oh, yeah. Ibig sabihin parang nag-journal ka lang, nag-diary ka lang. I think that, that that's gonna make things a little lighter and the, like, you know, easier without the pressure of like, ah, I need to be mm, so correct. good at graphics and, and all this mm-hmm. stuff. Like, I'm so English caraba with my, you know? Um, mm-hmm. Because the point is really, um, as as freelancer, as business owner, all we need to do is to put ourselves out there, you know, um, and, and if we constantly connect, people that we connect to, yung mga uh, ina-add natin every day, right? Okay, well, these are, these are sa akin, um, flooring contractors, right? So I add them every day. And when they look at my profile, they'll see, oh, okay, well, Dina is doing Facebook ads. Oh, she's doing web design. Oh, cool. I mean, she, she she's a mom, right? So mas relatable yung dating. Mm-hmm. Again, less the pressure of be so good at content creation. Oh, yeah. Documentation, mm-hmm. yun yung approach ko. We document. And really, um, and, and for everyone who's, you know, watching this probably, uh, uh, Coach, what are you talking about, right? Uh-huh. Um, if, if, if you go into my profile, like really dig into my post since 2017, it's the same. It's the same. Mm-hmm. Para, parang ginawa kong diary yung Facebook ko. And that has been, um, you know, the reason why... I don't need to. I, I I don't apply for jobs. I don't, uh, you know, bid for projects. I I I most of the time my clients are inbound. Coming, inbound. Yeah. Nice. They're all like, uh, how do you do that? Oh, how much are you charging for this? Um, la 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 la. So it's much easier. But look, it took me two years to plant. Okay. So mm-hmm. agree ako dun sa kay Phoenix kanina na I'm I'm I am in no way saying na okay madali lang to um oh Facebook lang pa adad. no it's it's not it's not easy right it took me two years to really plant and um in in two years time in my case like ah, I'm able to kumbaga may harvest season like mm-hmm. I, I I don't do cold prospecting anymore siguro yung cold approach ko lang dun is just the adding but with the content the documentation that I do with my Facebook alone, I, I am I am very confident that with or without this pandemic, it is pandemic proof. You know, the 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 this freelance business is pandemic proof. The question ako coach Dina. Go ahead. Um, um, anong ginagamit mo? Separate ba yung personal social media account mo or sa Good business question. at personal? I have I have Facebook page but it's very weak actually like yung yung energy and focus ko talaga is on my personal profile. It's on my personal so, profile. Meron kasi iba parang na, na ano sila na mag-add ng mga strangers kumbaga dun sa personal account nila. So yung iba gumagawa ng separate account. Yeah, yeah so, that's understandable naman. Mm-hmm. Understandable naman 'yun kasi um I have mentees right now they're working abroad like talagang kumbaga no no sa kanila 'yon. Um, yes. uh, especially in Arab countries, like there is, a, mm-hmm. so you know, I tell them you, you can just create an, an, a new account, or probably you could go to LinkedIn. You use LinkedIn, de ba? Mm-hmm. Pero the point is, um, yun mga special cases yun, no? Pero kung tayo naman eh, um, you know, I, I'm I, I'm not comfortable using my my personal Facebook because my my tita would think that I'm so mayabang. Probably mm-hmm. my my a former office mate would think like, oh, oh, you know, <laughs> there's those I know, um, you know, fears and doubts. But really, if this is the business that you're gonna build, and you know that your potential clients are on Facebook, mm. pero mas mahalaga yung opinion ng iba. Doon ako medyo doubtful. I don't think, you know, um, so mindset, ano yun? Mindset, mindset muna yung kailangan nating trabahuin doon. I have to talk about your business kasi kung meron kang kunwari, ano, parang shumayan, kung hindi mo hmm. naman yun i-promote, so parang wala din. Exactly. Yeah. Good question. Good nice. question. Kasi there, uh, there are different ways to approach promoting yourself in, in social media. Some some mm. experts would say, no, I am using my personal my personal account para naman makita nila how realistic I am. Meron yung mga ganun. Some people also want to just focus on their freelancing career. It really is up to you. The good thing about yeah. this, the good thing about uh, just putting yourself out there, 
mm-hmm. pwede mo na ma- by the time that you decide that you want to uh, create another account or another page for such pwede mong i-migrate yung mga content mo pwede pwedeng ganun or if you for just sure. want to yeah you ju- you can just leave it there kapag ayaw mo na at gusto mong bumalik ka sa personal account mo if it is too much for you then you can just leave it there Nandiyan pa rin ang mga transactions mo. So, it is no pressure there. I love what uh, Miss Tina explained here dahil nasagot na niya yung susunod kong tanong sana. Eh. For sure, merong mga newbies dyan na sasabihin na wala nga ako ang experience. Ano ba? Ba't nyo ako pinapa... Ano dyan? Ang, ang dami. Parang that's, that's my favorite question, away. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wala nga ako experience. If they say that, Miss Dina said, just document. Document, document, document. That is what we do in social media after all. Ang ginagawa natin is, uy, nakakain ako ng fried chicken ngayon. Masarap. Ay, miss na miss ko ang Jollibee. Buti naman na, nagbukas na di, dito sa amin. Something as simple as that. Pero ano, uh, if you lean more on your freelancing career, like, hmm, na-inspire ako sa FCC ngayon. Ah. Subukan ko nga rin magsulat. Something as simple as that would already put content on your page it will yes. uh, will already uh grab the attention of many people like oh okay so this person is starting his freelance his or her freelancing career let's take a look at his progress ano kaya mangyayari bukas ano kaya mangyayari next week and yeah. you can even say you can even say ang pangit ng sinulat kong cover letter i hate myself you can even say you can even say that and at least that makes you more human if that is how you want it to be you don't need you don't need to pretend like you're an expert in what you do kasi nga ang sabi nga ni Miss Dina just document it just document yeah. your journey and it's something as simple as that para wala yung iniisip mo nga na i have to be this superstar va para mahire ako no 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 in the, that uh, yeah, nah, we 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 try to uh, encourage you ladies and gentlemen to be more realistic and be more yourselves when it comes yeah. to showcasing yourself as a freelancer and uh yun nga yung pre promote ni ni Kenneth nga na you just have to be prepared kayo mga first timers mga wala pang experience at umaangal na wala pa kayong portfolio wala pa kayong experience the mere fact na sinabi ni Miss Dina na you just need to document your experience yun ang gamitin niyo as your portfolio it is I think as I simple to... sorry Phoenix yes. um c- can i just you know uh, yeah, go ahead. And, um I wanted to cite a very practical example, no? So the scenario is I'm a newbie freelancer, like um, I, I wanted to do Facebook ads, I mean, like that, no? Or I wanted to be, I, I, I can be a graphic designer, but it's just that I haven't got a client yet, so zero experience, zero. Mm-hmm. But you can design, right? So. Coach, paano kaya ako makakapag, um, you know, build ng portfolio eh wala pa nga, as in sobrang zero? Or how can I even, you know, put myself out there if if, if I, I don't have anything, right? The way that I would do it, um, you know, when you wanted to learn something, say for example, Facebook as your website, malamang sa malamang mag-google tayo, di ba? Or mag youtube tayo, di ba? There are tons and tons and tons of resources out there. Right. So, how am I gonna do it? So, um, sabi natin, okay. Well, I'm learning Facebook ads, the Facebook ads 101, or the Facebook blueprint na downloadable sa Facebook, right? Whatever, um, uh, you know, content or part of the content sabi natin, um, uh, sa sa YouTube ito, ano? Anything na makuha mo dyan, parang mga takeaways mo lang, right? That itself is a content documentation, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, right, right now I'm I'm I I spent thirty minutes on YouTube, um, learning about the basics of Facebook ads. You know what I what I'll do there? I'll take the notes. Parang nag book review. You know, when we were in high school and college, we we used to do this book review, movie review, and all those stuff. Mm-hmm. Do that as well, and then make that content on on on, on Facebook. Like post something. Hey, um, today I spent thirty minutes watching a tutorial of Ben Malol about Facebook ads, and here are my great my my, my takeaways. Right? Do that consistently. Imagine in two years, guys, you would not like you not imagine the growth na mangyayare. From that someone who is just watching YouTube tutorials because that's exactly what I did. 
sabihin natin sa creative design naman, no? You know, ah, I'm a, oh, I can create logo, and ah, it's just that, yeah, paano kaya to? Like, I don't have any portfolio. Like, we have to stop thinking about the what I can't and tweak our mindset into what can I do with this situation now? I don't have a portfolio. I don't have any experience. So what can I do? Right? I'll go to Canva. There are so many templates out there. And then, love, you know, you create your designs. You create. I'm doing a mock-up design for um, a dental clinic. And then put it on your Facebook. Right? Create a challenge, like a personal challenge, like a 30-day design challenge. <laughs> My goodness, in 30 days, ilan yung madadesign mo? I don't, oh, yeah. like, pupusta ako na, kung, pag, kung portfolio pag-uusapan, mas marami kang portfolio sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede tayo magpa-challenge sa flip na, 30-day design challenge. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> diba? There, there's just so many things. I think yun yung uh, ang, ang gusto kong i-ano dun. I emphasize uh, Phoenix and Mahar and, and, and Kenneth that it's not the situation that we're in. It's what we do with the situation. The situation. So whether you're a newbie or a pro, kahit anong sitwasyon ka ilaga, if you don't know how to, you know, um, make something out of your situation, then you're being a newbie or you're being a pro would really not matter. So it's what we do with our current situation. Very nice. Very nice. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think um, what Tina said also goes well with what Kenneth said. It's just get rid of your negative thoughts. And you know, uh -huh. Miss Tina, na, na it's all about the mindset. It is all about the mindset. We cannot right, right. emphasize this enough. Nakakasawa ng sinasabi sabi sabi namin. Pero sina paulit ulit namin sinasabi ito para sumiksik po sa ulo ninyo. Dahil maraming mga nagre-reject pa rin. Parang naririnig na, na, na nila na okay, it's all in the mindset. It's all in the mindset. Yet, sasabihin na, I mean, hindi pa rin nila maiput into practice. That is the the problem. That's why we have to keep saying it. We have to keep explaining it. We have to keep rewording it and uh, rephrase it para lang matanggap ng utak natin at matanggap ng puso natin. That is, uh, I, I really, really am grateful for Kenneth and Dina here. Now, uh, before we go to the end, um, to the end of our segment um, right now, yeah, um, yes, Kenneth. Um, may I add something uh, regarding oh, what yeah. Dina said? So. Aside from Google, you can also use your existing network in Facebook. Since especially if, for example, you're learning Facebook ads, then you can actually post on your wall. Um, for example, what is the single most important question that you have with regards to Facebook ads? And uh, post it in groups, uh, join groups that, for example, if your target is e-commerce, then join e-commerce groups. If your target is uh, flor florist, then join florist groups. Post that question and uh, just the context. Meron naman magre-respond yan. And you can use those questions as basis for ano ang content na isusulat mo sa wall mo. Yeah. Yun lang. I love that. Ako may question ako. <laughs> ulit, ahead, question ulit. Baka yung audience din natin, tsaka ako curious din ako, kung si Phoenix Jackson ba, tsaka si Kenneth, es nagdo-document din sa kanilang mga social media, no? May social media accounts, yan. <laughs> Oh, Sige, guilty si ako, hindi. Ako din. <laughs> guilty ako. Uh, I don't document oh. sa social media. Ang ginagawa ko lang is uh, through LinkedIn at yung oh. Facebook groups na sinasalihan ko. I answer questions and give out value. Yun lang. Yeah, Pero sa documentation, wala. <laughs> ako siguro sisimulan ko. Kailangan lang talaga magbigay hmm. ng time. Si Phoenix yung... kaya? <laughs> yung page ko it's almost dead it's all it's almost dead <laughs> pero ano the uh marami akong ano eh marami akong projects in planning na ano na darating it has been na delay lang talaga nitong covid na ito kasi parang na distract ako dito sa covid na ito but it it could have start it should have started last june pa lang but i delayed it there are plenty projects that i have in mind that gagawin ko sa para magising na naman yung ano ko yung yung page. yung page ko but yeah when it comes to documentation because i have multiple accounts meron akong account for my family strictly for my family meron akong account for here Meron akong account sa, sa iba, and there's this account for my freelancing career. Then, um, yes. 
<laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, what I did is actually there are filters sa Facebook. So uh-huh. in case na gusto mo mag-post, and exclude mo lang yung specific audience mm-hmm. na ayaw mong makakita. <laughs> Yun lang yung ginagawa mm-hmm. ko. Para mm-hmm. medyo hassle kasi yung, yung maraming Facebook accounts. Uh, accounts. <laughs> Pero I get na may gumagawa doon. Pero yeah. as for me lang, uh, you can just also use the filter naman para mas easier uh, less ang logins na memorize mo. A- ano kasi ako eh, may pagka moody ako kaya sometimes oh, I want to be this person dito sa ano di- I want to focus on my family kaya dito ako sa account ng pamilya ko. And then sometimes I just yeah. want to say, okay, goodbye family. Let me let me take care of my of my career first. <laughs> Yan ang ginagawa ko. That's why I have multiple accounts and I kind of enjoy it that way. The point there is yun nga yung sabi ni, ni Kenneth there are different approaches to to handling your social media accounts nasa sayo kung saan ka comfortable the good thing here is you can easily merge your accounts if you have multiple accounts if you have multiple pages and you're just tired of one you can just simply say goodbye goodbye uh, page it, uh, we all yan ang kagandahan sa ano eh, sa social media eh. you have the freedom to do a lot and you have the freedom to decide whether to keep one or or disregard one that so wag kayong wag niyo masyadong i- emotionally invest ang sarili niyo sa isang account ng social media. Mm-hmm. Na, eh, ang mahirap kasi diyan yung parang pe-personalin mo lahat eh. By the time that you emo- that you emotionally invest too much, mag- pag may negative comment na sasabihin na, "Oo, dami mong satsat ni hindi ka nga makakuha-kuha ng client pag sasabihin <laughs> ng ganun, then it's going to hurt you so much so that you will quit." So do not put so much of your of your emotions oh, yes. on the things that you do and be passionate don't, don't get me wrong huh be passionate on the things that you are doing pero wag masyadong emotionally invested to the point na konting negative uh negative comment lang eh madidisappoint wag personal din wag personal din yeah, yeah. kailangan sanayin mo ang sarili mo ganyan nga ang business eh kailangan oh. sanayin, sanayin mo ang sarili mo na ano kapalan talaga ng mukha na well pag may negative comment then i'll just take the positive out of it and then goodbye the negative feeling feelings yan yeah. na, nabanggit na ni ni Kenneth yan na drop every negative uh emotions out of the table kasi talagang it has no place in your freelancing career all right, Mahar. How about we get, we give them some reminders? But before, yes. ano, uh, ladies and gentlemen, na pag-usapan ng natin itong is your freelancing business a uh, pandemic proof? Ang kaso na kaisang oras na tayo, and I think bitin na bitin tayo with uh, there's so much that Kenneth and Dina can can say about this about our freelancing career. But uh, kung ano na lang, parang let me ask Kenneth and and Dina to. Uh, please just give us their final word. And pagkatapos itong advertisement na ito, their final word, um, how do they contact them if there's anything that they would advertise at kung meron silang pa-shoutout. Okay, Dina, Kenneth and Dina? Okay, Mahar, go. Yes, so I will add the announcements to stream. Ayan, kita na? Yes. yes. So, sige. Actually, nag-notes ako dito. <laughs> <laughs> ayan, um, ayan. Okay, so um, this coming Wednesday on November 11, 2020 at 6.30 p.m. Meron na naman tayong ano, isang student from BA Bootcamp na i-interviewin with Phoenix ito. No? So interview with Janras Anthony Gutierrez, inspiring mm-hmm. freelancing lessons from a fitness trainer turned social media marketer. Na, na, uh, parang nabanggit ko last week na ano, parang puro yung mga nati-feature natin, mga OFW. And this time, another OFW na naman, eh, feature natin. So, ayun si Jan Ross. Naging ano din siya, intern din sa Flip, sa freelancing group natin. Ayan. Uh, he is um, an OFW from Qatar. So, samahan niyo si Phoenix and si JR next, uh, this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. I-calendar niyo na yan. Okay. Next is Fast Forward 2021 Webinar Series. So sa mga first time na nakapanood nitong Flip Chat and Shield and yung mga new followers natin sa VA Bootcamp page, last month po we started a webinar series where Jason Dulay, yung founder ng VA Bootcamp, teaches yung mga skills na pwede mong pagkakitaan online like uh, virtual assistant, social media management, e-commerce, graphic design, through Photoshop, ayan. Then we have three more Saturdays to go and Jason will be teaching you so search engine optimization or SEO, 
uh, basics of bookkeeping and how to market your freelance skills. So, ano po yan? Every 8 p.m. Saturday sa BA Bootcamp page. Ayan. And then, um, if mga if na miss out nyo yung mga past webinars, yung mga hindi nakapanad ng webinars, um, try to check itong link na to, bit.ly uh, forward slash FF 2021 vid. So, playlist na po yan, kinampile na namin lahat ng mga, vid, uh, mga webinars in the past, yung Advanced Virtual Assistance, SMM, Introduction to E-Commerce, Amazon Seller Central, Photoshop Essentials, you, you just have to go to um, this uh, website para ano, mapanood nyo. Uh, Mag-webinar marathon kayo instead na kay drama marathon. <laughs> Ayan, webinar marathon para ano, invest in yourself. Di ba sabi nga kanina? Okay, so next is, um, yun nga, this Saturday, so yung topic is about SEO. So SEO in a nutshell, that's 8 p.m. November 14. And last, wait lang, last week, uh, last Saturday, we had yung webinar na Photoshop Essentials. And meron kaming uh, munting pa contest. Kung saan, ano, mag-take ka lang ng selfie. Sabi nga ni Miss Dina kanina, document. <laughs> so, ayan. Mag-take sila ng selfie na nanonood ng webinar ni Bossing Jason Dulay and share share it, uh, share the photo to your Facebook wall and put the hashtags, uh, hashtag VA Bootcamp PE for 2021 and hashtag Fast Forward 2021 and meron kayong chance na manalo ng 500 peso um, coupon, uh, 500 peso off in any of our VA Bootcamp courses. So, ang maganda po dyan, stackable yung 500 coupons. So, gagawin na natin to for the next next webinars para, alimbawa, manalo kayo, swerte nyo, di ba? Lucky viewers sa mga lahat ng webinars. So, 500, 500, 500. Then, meron kang 1,500 off sa sa ano natin, sa courses natin. So, yan. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung Photoshop Essentials, pwede pa po kayong manood and deadline ng posting or sharing ng Nang na-document nyo, <laughs> na steps nyo sa freelancing is November 12, 5 p.m. That's Friday. And kung nagustuhan nyo, maka-flip, ay, itong, itong episode ito ng Flip Chat and Chill and itong format ng show namin, um, visit, uh, um, um, ito, visit again VA Bootcamp page and abangan nyo next Monday. Ang ano naman, ang ating um, topic naman is effective strategies when dealing with difficult clients. So, sino naman kaya yung makakasama natin? Um, next Monday. So that's November 16 at 6 p.m. And yan, free VA course. Kung ano, I mean, kung gusto nyo mag-start, hindi nyo alam kung paano, you can check our freevacourse.com. Meron dyang, uh, you'll get your daily lessons straight to your inbox kung paano maging VA for five days. So five days namin kayong i-email kung paano yun. And next is, ayan, paid course. We also have paid course kung meron kayong budget, di ba? If nabitin ka sa free course, meron kaming paid courses, you can check vabootcamp.ph slash enroll. So what's great with a VAB online course is that lifetime lifetime na siya. So you don't have to pay annually just to get the updates. Um, ngayon, recently, meron kaming ano, bagong course na inalabas na isasama sa complete course, which is, Lead generation. So, yan. So, sa mga nag-enroll before, di ba, uh, meron, meron, magkakaroon kayo ng access sa bagong course na to. So, yun yung kagandahan na lifetime access si VA Bootcamp. And if may gusto kang balikan sa mga courses, you can easily access it. So, meron naman tayo mga different packages. Right now, we have three packages to choose from. We have the skills package at 3990 where you learn VA skills such as email management, calendar management, SMM, WordPress, internet research, transcription and office applications. Yun po, skills lang po siya. And we also have the accelerated package, which, which is yung bestseller natin. Lahat po nang meron sa skills package na andon, plus bonuses like e-commerce for VA, bookkeeping and quick QuickBooks, tsaka access sa profile and job cover letter templates, exclusive students group then and mentorship to help you get your first online job through the Guided Hustle Challenge. Ayun. And then, um, ano nga pala, shout out sa mga nag-start mag-guided hustle challenge, sa mga students, first, uh, first day po nila ngayon, and that will be the last GHC for the year. So, para sa mga hindi makahabol, next year na po yung susunod na guided hustle challenge. But don't worry, meron naman tayong guide for uh, do-it-yourself GHC. Ayan, you can avail the accelerated package for 7990 And lastly, we have the complete package. So, lahat ng nasa accelerated course, Ay nando na plus bonuses, merong freelance writing, FB ads and social media marketing, 
SEO, web design with WordPress, email marketing mechanics, chatbot marketing, and many more. Dati nga pala si, ano, si Coach Dina ay nag-enroll din sa VA Bootcamp, but ito yung mga individual course. So, meron lang siyang pinili na course. So, pwede rin yun. yun that's for $99.90. We have installment options din para sa mga gusto na talaga maka-enroll agad, pero can't uh, pay in full. So, ayan, nabanggit ko nga kanina, individual courses meron din tayo. So, ito yung mga list. So, parang halos lahat ng nabanggit ko sa complete na dito. $2,990 except for Better English, $1,490. And Getting Started with Blogging, $1,490. And next level freelancing courses. Sa mga gusto naman tahakin yung road to 100K. 100K po yung ano, um, pay per month, yung naiuwi mo. So, pwede din mag-enroll sa next level free freelancing courses. Ayan. And... Um, Bundle the course. You can bundle the course. Pwede ka din naman mag-create ng own package mo. Bundle three courses for $7,990. Ano, mas tipid yan. Halos 1,000 pesos yung matitipid mo. And again, yung complete course, kapag you can avail all of these courses, so complete course at $19,990 and get to join a monthly coaching call by Jason Dulay. Exclusive lang po sa Bob Complete Students. And there is another um, Facebook Facebook group, exclusive sa mga complete student, complete course students. And yes, ito, ayan, meron akong sinulat dito. <laughs> uh, Nakapal, nag-prepare ako ng notes, pero hindi, hindi ko na na memorize, wala na akong time. So ayan, the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll earn. So yun nga, sabi dito, it, it's an investment talaga. But still, yung, yung VA Bootcamp courses, investment siya, but still, it's a lot cheaper dun sa mga, dun sa tuition fee, sa college tuition fee mo, di ba? In here, you'll get access sa mga bad, sa, sa bad coaches, sa guided hustle challenge, and of course, even if you get just one client who pays 15,000 per month or 300, $300 per month, that's 15,000 pesos, which is actually super low. Lower than dun sa recommended mm -hmm. rates natin na $5 per hour, di ba? And if you follow your lessons, you can get more than two to three clients if you like, diba? But let's just say, if, even if you get just one, paying you 15K, you'll get a return of investment right away, diba? So it's just something to think about before we get tempted to splurge sa, sa ngayong Christmas. Ngayong maparating na yung Christmas, diba? Yung iba, ma, I'm sure marami nang naka-add to cart sa ano, oh, yeah. sa Lazada sale ngayong 11-11. So pag-isipan nyo mabuti, ayun. So because you deserve to level up your skills, your earnings, and your lifestyle ngayong parating na 2021. So, yon. Thank you for watching, guys. Yes. I love that. Uh, buti, na, nice. buti naman na, buti naman na sabi mo yung, <laughs> yung huli na yun. I, I, oh, so, I so love it. Yeah. Uh, may, make it a point, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress enough how important uh, spending money for your career is. You kapag ituturing mo ito na magiging source of your income, you need to feed the hand that feeds you. <laughs> you don't just bite the hand that, that feeds you. You need, kailangan mong pakainin ang nagpapakain, ang nagpapakain sa'yo. You, you need to do that. Because uh, otherwise, pag lagi na lang na yung yung makukuha mo with, a, with zero investment, kapag yun ang, ano, ang attitude mo, zero investment and uh, millions of pesos in return, that's not going to happen. Kaya, uh, sorry na lang kung yun ang ano, kung yun ang attitude mo in life. It's not gonna take you far. But yeah, the uh, buti na lang nabanggit yun ni, ni Mahar. Thank you very much, Mahar, for that. Okay, let's go to our final words. Um, advertisement and shout out. Uh, how about you start, Kenneth? Uh, <laughs> uh, hi na lang sa mga team. <laughs> uh, Giselle, uh, Jed, Dwight, yun, uh, teammates. At uh, Dale, yung isang kakilala kong uh, freelance uh, SEO. Yun, yun lang. And if my questions kayo, you can just reach me naman sa Facebook. Just uh, search my name lang. Uh, Kenneth Viola. Yun lang. I love that. It's so simple. It's so it's so simple. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have any further questions, just rewatch rewatch the the this segment. Makikita nyo na marami pang input si ano si si Kenneth. Pero talagang bitin. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, isang oras lang talaga ang pwede natin dedicate for for flip chat and chill for now. But if you want to uh, talk further about 
what you can do in your career and you resonate with Kenneth, go ahead and approach him. Thank you very much for that, Kenneth. What about you, Miss Dina? Um, siguro mag shout out, shout out, <laughs> shout out <laughs> palang ako sa ano, um, sa Savage Family ko, um, my my super awesome and top notch top notch <laughs> um uh freelancers and my my tls uh in 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 my savage family savage society um kay ams and si mitch the si mitch uh, mags uh, alvin and russell and yuri and nikki and bea and uh sari um, sana wala ako makalimutan, sana walang magtampo, Michelle, uh, everyone, every everyone is Savage Society, guys. Um, and yes, for those who, I, I, I've been reading comments earlier, um, bitin nga daw, ako din nabitan talaga. But you guys can um, check my my profile, I'm, I'm very, ano lang naman, no, no fancy, just like Kenneth. Um, I have my Facebook and my my Instagram. It's dinasamuel.com, D-O-T-C-O-M. Um, I also have a podcast. Um, it's called The Savage Coach Podcast. I talk about freelancing. I talk about motherhood, family, um, my, my my freelancing journey for sure. Um, the, the services that I do for my clients as well. So there's that. It's on Spotify. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. DIY lang yun, guys. Ha? It's, it's no fancy, I know, but... Um, yeah, the Savage Coach podcast, and uh, any any freelancing questions, really, you can just uh, feel free to 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 reach out. Uh, my email is ceo at dinasamo.com. My website is dinasamo.com. And you know, any questions? So w- whenever I have time, I, I do respond. Talaga, and I do give insights as well. And again, thank you, um, Phoenix and and Mahar and uh, VA Bootcamp for 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 this time. You might not know Miss Tina, but I'm one of your followers in your podcasts. Silent follower, silent follower, lang ako because I, 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 I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. When I'm, I, I love it. Lagi talaga disclaimer di ayway lang yun na. <laughs> oh no! It's actually it's great content, ladies and gentlemen. Kung ako kayo, and if you happen to be to be using Spotify, it's so good. Dahil, ano, convenient. Dahil pwede kang mag, you yeah. can listen offline if you want to. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're a premium user, which is very very cheap anyway. And I always listen more to podcasts than than music. Uh, to be honest, and isa si Dina sa mga pinapakinggan ko when I am wiping my floors, oh my uh, washing God. my plates. So it's mm, it's nice. kind of therapeutic actually. So I and I do encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, to look up Miss Dina here. Dahil may comments dito na nakaka nosebleed si ano si si Mam <laughs> Dina. Na, yun ang sabi nila. You know why? Because she keeps on exercising, exercising, exercising. Mm. And even at the start of my my career here uh, as a host, nung simula rin naman medyo nahirap, hirapan din ako. But eventually things will get easier. So if you want to document in a in an audio form, if you are interested in developing your communication skills, your oral skills most especially, then try to be like Dina here. Uh, Wala naman siyang ibang ginagawa kundi in-express lang niya talaga ang sarili niya. Her mind, sure. her, her thought. Sure. It's nothing. Uh, it, it she she doesn't pretend to be an expert on everything in every episode. Sinasabi lang niya kung ano talaga ang opinion niya. So I I trust. Naman. Salamat. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, well, oh, yeah. Uh, I am following you, so yeah, but I'm just being a silent follower. I, I love doing that young quietly na, as much as possible. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, same, I don't want to say, hey, I am here yeah. watching you. I don't, no, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm saying, you know, just document, guys. Like, don't aim for that, uh, you know, um, uh, Acknowledgement from people and and what mm-hmm. really document say something do something because you can. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 
because you can that's it you just express yourself instead of impressing other people because impressing other people that's gonna hinder you talaga of imbis na may nagawa ka but again <laughs> phoenix salamat it <laughs> yeah, balik yun. balik ulit dito si ano Kinilig si coach D na kama si Kenneth <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, beaten tayo. So I am looking forward to talking with you two again in, yes. in the future. Kaya kayo, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, if you want to hear more from Kenneth and and Dina here, just let us know. Put it on the comment section down below. Magkano lang naman yun. Yes, I want more, and it encourages them to come and join us again. If in any case yun nga, sabi nga nila, you go ahead and message them. They will try to entertain your question as much as they can. But again. Their time is expensive, so you gotta you gotta you gotta be uh, aware of you, the questions mm. that you ask. Wag wag yung how po, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> Mar, is there anything you want to add? <laughs> join kayo sa ano sa flip kung hindi pa kayo na ka join. Nanapin yun lang yung freelancers in the Philippines by Jason Dulay Facebook group and join kayo kasi marami dong value posts, mga uh, resources na pwede namin may bigay sa inyo para makatulong yon na, na makapag-start kayo dito sa freelancing and makagawa kayo ng freelancing business just like our panel here panels here today Dina and Kenneth. Yun lang. Yeah, and thank you very much for being my co-host, Mahar. It's si, si Mahar. She's a very hardworking <laughs> mom. <laughs> kudos to kudos to Carmi as well for working in the background. Hi, Carmi. I, give, I give plenty of thanks Hi. to Miss Carmi. Ayan, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Our topic for today is uh, is your freelancing business pandemic proof? And I think we have offered a lot of insights when it comes to dealing with your freelancing career and treating it as a business and changing your mindset in order for us to be more secure in our freelancing life. Para sa future din po natin ito. The one thing that I want you ladies and gentlemen to keep in mind is I have I have it here. Napaka Napaka ano ng aking sulat pero yeah the idea is there <laughs> I just I just uh, say it here but um man make it easy My simple notes. and consistent <laughs> tinanggap ko yung easy because uh, not not everything in life is easy really but you, yeah. you in everything that you do in your freelancing career it's best that you keep it simple yet consistent yun nga yung sinasabi ni Miss Dina don't make it fancy because you will just burn out Marami sa atin, isa na rin ako dyan, I, I, I honestly confess na if I want to start a project parang gusto kong I want this and I want to be like this and I want it to be like that, dapat nasa Hootsuite, dapat automated sa IG, dapat naka ano na sa Twitter, or yet hindi, dapat iba ang image ko sa ano sa, sa Twitter, dapat iba ang thumb, thumbnail niya sa, 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 sa YouTube. You know, you, we... We tend They're to. They're so fancy. Yeah, yeah we, <laughs> we, 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 we start. <laughs> yeah, that's that's there. You go. Nasabi nga ni ni Mahar. Kaya hindi ka makastart or hindi mo maituloy. Yung, yung iba naman oh, parang gusto kong mag mag live. Tapos kung kung kailan ko gusto and then you make it a daily thing, an hourly thing. <laughs> Nagla live ka na lang ng ng halos araw-araw and hindi mo na mamalayan. It is consuming your life. And that's why I encourage you people, whatever you do, whatever, uh, even in freelancing, pati yung pag-apply mo, pag-sulat mo ng cover letter, as much as possible, make it simple for you, yet consistent. Consistency is the key. It's not so much this fabulous one big thing because you don't want to be a one-hit wonder. One hit wonder doesn't really work so much in free, in our, in freelancing. You give one bombastic uh, content to the people. Akala mo magiging viral ka na ng just with that with that one single content, and you will be set yeah. for life. It doesn't work like that. Even if it happens to you, even if sa una mong ginawa e eh, naging viral ka na, it's a question of what comes next, and it's going to eat you alive. Kung, kung nag masyadong marami itong ginawa mo. So try to keep it as simple as possible yet consistent. Yun nga sabi ni Miss Dina, you will never know yung content mo after one year, two years, it's overflowing. And that is what people look up to more. Hindi yung iisa na maganda. Yung napakarami, yun ang, ano, yun ang gustong makita ng, ano, ng karamihan, whether followers or even your future clients. So that is one way to survive and make your business pandemic-proof or eh, catastrophe-proof. Let's put it like that. 
Ayan, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you got plenty uh, from our insights here. Thank you very much, Kenneth. Thank you very much, Tina. And thank you, Mahar, for being my co-host. And again, to those whom we have inadvertently failed to mention, para wala pong magtampo, uh, <laughs> replay na lang, and we will try to mention you again the next time around. Ayan. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you.